on the streets for Milagro Sala, the leader of Tupac Amaru, a group created more than 15 years ago to help the long marginalized indigenous communities in the remote northwestern province of Jujuy. Today it's one year since Milagro Sala has been detained. She is a fighter, someone who struggled against injustice, and her being in prison is an embarrassment to us all. It was through Sala's office that millions of dollars of aid was channeled from the previous government of Cristina Fernández de Kirchner. That money was intended to be used to build homes, schools and health centers for the poor. Prosecutors allege it was embezzled. Milagro Sala has been in prison for a year without a sentence. These people say that she is being politically persecuted, not only by authorities, but also by the judiciary of the northern Argentinian province of Cujuy. And that's why they're protesting here and all around the country to demand her release. At the Tupac Amaru headquarters in Buenos Aires, human rights groups gathered to explain why her detention is a serious threat to Argentinian democracy. It has taken us years to seek justice for the human rights abuses committed during the dictatorship. We did what no other country in the world did, which is to try military members in common courts. We are an example, and now, because of what is being done to Milagro Sala, we are once again going back in time. Our democracy and the rule of law are at risk. Sala was originally arrested after she was accused of inciting violence during a protest against the current governor of Jujuy, a close ally of President Mauricio Macri. Since then, the list of her alleged wrongdoings has grown. She is not a political prisoner, but a politician in jail. She has stolen from the country and from the poor. She was given millions, and there are houses that are not there. It was a model that was corrupt and violent. What can be discussed in her case is preventative detention, but that's the similar situation that thousands of people are going through in the country. And that's one of the reasons why people here are demanding her release. They claim the political powers now in control of Argentina are likely to ensure that a woman devoted to helping Argentina's most vulnerable won't get a fair trial. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.